Look what I've ordered myself. Oh. Two of these. Now, the reason I've ordered two is because I want to make quite a few of these. And I don't want to have to keep waiting for one secure while I make the other one. And these are going to make some lovely big bowls. And I think I'm l so looking forward to making these. Because, you know, I grow a lot of the little tiny succulents. Don't cost me anything. I just grow them on. And then I sell them in little pots. Well, I thought I'd make some big pots this time. But I'm going to do something a little bit different with them. One of them, I'm going to use the Epsom salts method in. And then this one, I don't know if you saw on my other channel, but I got some white sand. This white sand, it's very fine white sand. And it's easy to get hold of. And it's so cheap as well. I will link everything in the description below. And I coloured it. I did lots of different colours, look. So what I'm going to do is see if it works in resin and if it make a nice pattern going round with all my different colours. Then I'll show you how I'm going to plant them up at the end once they're cured and also how much I sell them for against how much they cost me. Now I'm going to be using the Tea Expert Crystal Clear for this. It is a great medium pour and small pour resin. So it's ideal for this project. And the great thing about all of Let's Resin molds is they do tell you on them how much you need. And it's very quite, it's quite small here. Oh, 11 fluid ounces. That whole bowl takes 11 fluid ounces. So what I'm going to use is my large mixing pot here to mix up my resin. These come in my kit, which is also linked in the description below. Because I'm adding sand and salt to it, I'm not gonna need 11 fluid ounces. I'm probably gonna need about half of that. So about five and a half fluid ounces for each bowl. So I've got my resin mixed up now. This is the one I'm gonna put the salt in, but the first thing I wanna do is add some color. Now, I don't wanna add opaque color. I wanna add some translucent color. And without a doubt, let's resin colors and their pigments, their opaque pigments, their powders are far superior to anybody else's, including their alcohol inks. Their alcohol inks are brilliant. So I'm going to put a few drops in this first, and then I'm going to give that a bit of a stir. If that's not dark enough, then I can put a few more in it. And this is the blue violet. I will link all the Let's Resin stuff in the description below, because I do have a discount code as well. Now, I want that darker than that. So I'm going to put a few more drops in. Okay, that should be dark enough now. And what I'm going to add is my Epsom salt. Now remember, whenever you're adding anything like salt or sand or anything like that to your resin, it is going to add an awful lot of bubbles. So much air trapped in between these grains of salt and the grains of sand. So leave it to rest, if you can, before you pour it in. And make sure that you mix it all up really well. So every grain is covered in resin. The other thing that you want to make sure that you do is put enough in there. Because what you don't want it to do is settle out too much. And then you have a whole area of it that when it's settled, you've got a resin. That's why I like to colour the resin first as well. So I've poured in enough now to give me 11 fluid ounces. And then I'll let that sit for about 5 or 10 minutes for any bubbles to come up to the top. Now I'm not sure if this sand is going to work. Who knows? But we will see. But I did make some great colours with it. And the same applies to the sand. Once you've got the sand in there, make sure that you mix it really, really well. And you've got no bits that aren't covered in resin. And again, you want it to be like a thickish paste. So that's covered enough now in there. What I will find is once that is settled down, I will pop the bubbles using a long neck lighter. So I've got all my sands mixed up and I've got my salt mixed up. And like I said, if you want to know how I made the sands and coloured all that sand, then I'll link that video at the end of this one for you. And you can check that out. Now, this is where it's going to be fiddly and possibly a little bit messy because this is quite thick, this paste. And as a result, it's not going to run where you want it. You're going to have to push it down, do a bit of squidgy widgy on it once you've got it down and definitely some tappy wappy as well. In my members group they've been talking about is tappy wappy new and am I going to put it on t-shirts? Well I hadn't intended to but it isn't new. It's just me. I just I like to talk dribble and I just talk to myself while I make these videos and these words just come out. <laughs> Sorry about that. So squidgy widgy, tappy wappy, 
And we're going to do some a droppy droppy as well. It doesn't take too long to fill that up. If you haven't got enough, you can always mix up a little bit more with it anyway. And add that to the top. It's not going to make any difference. You're not going to get a line coming through. But I think we should have enough. So what I'm going to do now is just pick this up. And drop it like this. So it gets all the way down to the rims. And now I'm also going to do some squidgy widgy all the way around as well. And this is such a good quality mould. That is the great thing about the Let's Resin moulds. They're always so much better quality than you get off some of these cheaper knockoff sites. I, I, don't, I just don't buy from them. I want a mould that's going to last me a nice long time and give me a great result. I don't want a mould where I'm going to buy something and then when I get it, it is nowhere near what I thought it was going to be or it's really flimsy or doesn't last very long. Big thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't get a lot of my ideas or help that I need. And they're a great group of people. If you'd like to become a member, then the link for that is in the description below. And I used Epsom salts. It's one of my top videos, actually. About three or four years ago, I experimented with Epsom salts. And I do use it quite a lot as well in resin when I'm making things. It also makes your resin go a lot further, obviously, because you're, this would have took 11 ounces of resin. And now with the Epsom salt, it only needed five ounces of resin. And it's now very, very full. Well, actually, that was a perfect amount. Let's get rid of any air bubbles that are sticking out that I definitely can see. I mean, there might be some in it when it's finished, and that could add to how well it looks and its final finish. And I'm not too worried about that. That is the nice thing about this method. A bit of tappy-wappy now. I think that's all the way right, the way down to the edge now. Release that lid all the way around. And then we can let that do its thing, and we can come back and burn off any bubbles on that top. As soon as that has finished releasing some of the bubbles up. Now, with the sand, again, we've got the same sort of issue. It's going to be really thick, so we're going to have to push that down again like we did the last one. Now, I've got no particular pattern in mind for this. All I want to do is just use these different coloured sands and see what happens. Sand is going in there a little bit easier. And I haven't made as much mess as I thought I was going to make, to be perfectly honest. But the sand is definitely going in there a little bit easier than the salts but it's not difficult oh look he says i'm not making much mess then straight away makes a load of mess so now we've got that going all the way around we'll just do the same thing we'll just drop this several times quite firmly go around do a bit of squidgy widgy bit of tappy wappy and now i can put my sand on the top as well and it probably will give a bit of a marble effect on this top well it's not actually a top is it it's the base of the pot Big thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. Really, really do appreciate it. Times are very difficult on YouTube at the moment. And I am saving up for quite a lot of things at the moment as well. So thank you. So here's the names of everyone that got me a coffee last month. Really do appreciate it. If you want to buy me a coffee, link's in the description below. And you'll get your name on my coffee board. I'm also thinking of doing comment of the week or comments of the month and discussing those so if you'd like me to do that then let me know in the comments below and i will start introducing that into my videos so i'm now going to do that one more time so that lays all nice and level we'll clean up these edges a little bit as well get rid of some of that overpour and then what i can do is lift that lip up again do a bit of tappy wappy Burn off those bubbles that have come to the top. Long neck lighter, don't forget, never a torch. You don't want to be ruining these moulds. And I'll probably come back and do this again in about 10, 15 minutes as well. Now we'll leave them to cure and I'll show you what they're going to look like. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm so looking forward to seeing what this one looks like. Well, these are all nice and cured now. I can't wait to see what they look like inside. These are brilliant moulds. They're such good quality. Like I said, that is always the case with a Let's Resin mould. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that salt effect. It really, really does give such a wonderful effect of all around the bowl. I'm hoping my experiment with the sand turns out just as well. So let's have a look at that one. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. And that's sealed in there solid. That's not going to go anywhere. So let's have a look at the sand. Oh, and that has come out absolutely beautiful i 
I am so pleased with that. So easy, so cheap to colour your own sand. Like I said, I will link that video at the end of this one. So all I've got to do now is plant them up. And it's going to cost me nothing to plant them up because it's all from cuttings that I've done over the last year. I do probably a good 200 of each plant and they all come from one main plant so all it's cost me is the resin so far and the molds oh, i'm so pleased with those now if you wanted to you could drill a hole in the bottom of these but i'm not going to because before i do anything i am going to put a little layer of gravel in the bottom of each one of these so the water any water can get in there soak down so I've got all my plants now and it's about planting them up. I'm going to put some soil in here. Now use quite a well-draining soil because these are succulents or cactuses and that sort of thing. Don't forget. So you don't want it too muddy in there. And we just break off leaves of these and literally just plant them up and let them grow. These produce the most beautiful flowers. And the same for these. We just break off one of these and let that grow. And it pushes out its little roots. Then... They don't need a lot of looking after either, which is so important. So I'll just continue to plant up like this. I think I'll put a bit of a cactus in this one as well. I probably will in the other one. Now gentle with these because I don't want to be getting spiked. And then this little cactus, this little thing. Honestly, this we found growing on our roof. <laughs> we took it off and then planted it up. And we've got tons of little babies everywhere. And it will continue to root and it will continue to spread out in there as you want it to. And then you can just trim it back as you need to. And that's enough because I want them to spread out. I'm going to put some gravel over the top. That helps the soil to stop drying out so quick. And then I probably would leave the... I wouldn't sell them straight away. I'll put them somewhere warm. I'll keep watering for a couple of weeks. And then I'll take them out and sell them and normally these plant ones sell so easy finishing it off with this colored gravel makes such a big difference it really does give it a great look but there we go we've got one finished there i'll plant up the other one then i'll tell you how much i will charge for them so they're all planted up now i'm really pleased with how they've come out i think they look absolutely beautiful in there and they've cost me next to nothing i've worked out that i used about four pounds worth so what what's that four dollars fifty of resin to make these sand probably cost me about 20 pence and that colored cost nothing and the salt probably cost me 40 50 pence so about four pound fifty each to make these because the plants make cost me nothing growing all these myself including the cactuses where i've cut those off and i would sell these for 24 pounds so i'm making about 20 pounds per pot now i'm going to also put some bulbs in some i'm going to make some more and i'm going to put some daffodil bulbs in them and things like that and then when they come out you can sell them already done for mother's day next year and things like that but i'm really pleased with them brilliant mold from let's resin i'll link it in the description below it's not expensive at all and it will last you a nice long time so easy to use and you get some great effects don't forget to check out the video on how i colored this sand move that like button hit that subscribe button but most of all enjoy your resin take care bye